Nominations for Best in the Mountains are open now. Go to bestinthemountains.com. Nominate all the best people, businesses, and organizations you love. Voting begins February 4th, bestinthemountains.com. With the continuation of the cold, snowy weather, many are trying to keep their homes warm. However, heating a home can come with its own risks. Mountaintop spoke with the Pikeville Fire Department to learn how to safely heat your home. So with this co cooler weather, we definitely need to be concerned with our heating safety and carbon monoxide is definitely something we need to keep an eye on. So I always ask that you have a carbon monoxide detector in your home, um, at least um, if at least one in the home, but multiple if possible. According to provisional CDC data, 624 people died accidentally of carbon monoxide poisoning in 2022. Carbon monoxide is odorless and colorless, and keeping a carbon monoxide detector in the home is important to avoid emergencies. Fires and fireplaces should also be handled with care, making sure the chimney is clean and no embers leave the hearth as you feed the fire. We obviously should have smoke detectors as well as fire extinguishers in our home, but that carbon monoxide detector is just a third safety element that we definitely want to have, especially if we're burning gas heat. Staying warm in this icy weather is important, but doing so safely is even more crucial. For additional information or questions, you can call the Pikeville Fire Department. For Mountaintop News, I'm Kelsey Fidel.